Hi everyone. Good morning. I hope all of you are doing good. So thanks for your support. And uh, if you are watching this video on Udemy, you can support me. If you're watching our video on Udemy, you can support with your ratings. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, keep sharing and subscribing to our channel. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about uh, one word you might be hearing more. Constant table or CCID table or mapping table. A few years back when I joined in one of the companies, a project, uh, the ABAPR was asking me like, can you maintain CCID so that uh, we can uh, add the logic? What is CCID? In another project, it is it they are calling like a constant table. CCID also like kind kind of a constant data or a mapping table. So what all these things? Where are they going to use it? What is the benefit? So let's not go into the technical words and all. Let's go for a pure real time example so that we will get an idea so for example you are working in an enhancement that enhancement must work only for certain plant what that enhancement when the purchase order is being saved it should validate that the info record is available at plant level Okay, so you know, right, info record we can maintain at the plant level or uh, we can maintain at the purchase organization level. Few companies follow purchasing organization level so that they can uh, have the same price for all the plants. But few companies they go for a plant level because they want to have a plant specific price to be fetched. In this requirement, they always use it purchasing organization level, but specific plant they wanted to have a plant level. If there is an info record at uh, purchasing organization level, the purchase order should give a prompt because the validation is going to check that you should maintain at the plant level info record, then only the PO can be saved. That is an example. So that logic should be applicable only for the specific plant. In similar way, and you are working on a form, okay, and the data has to be fetched for specific plants or specific company code. During those cases, we have uh, two options. Option one. Okay. So what I was mentioning, uh, when you are going to info record M11, you can see, right, you can maintain at the purchasing, only purchasing organization level, or else you can maintain at the purchasing organization plant level. Oh, just to move right hand side. So you can maintain at the purchasing organization level or else you can maintain at the purchasing organization plus plant level. Okay, only plant level you don't have, either purchasing, only purchasing organization or else purchasing organization plus plant. Okay, same way when you go to the table also. You can definitely understand that uh, what I'm exactly talking about. So if there is any requirement, you wanted to applicable specific plant or a specific company code or specific purchasing organization at that point of time to avoid hard code. Okay. So I gave you one example. The requirement is requirement enhancement to validate while saving the PO to ensure ensure the purchase info record is available at plant level only or else throw error. So this is the requirement. So the requirement is to have to verify that info record is maintained at the plant level. So this is the requirement. Now the solution. Solution. Now the ABAPR will ver verify any exit, user exit. Oh, it's going to right hand side. We can make this. 
So the he will verify any user exit uh, while saving PO with ME22 and or anything. He will verify. And he wanted to maintain. There is two options are there. Option one, hard code, the plant code. Okay. If the plant is the EKPO, WR case, then throw the error. So hard code the plant code. What is the option to maintain the plant in the CCID or mapping table? Okay. So in few projects, I saw that one we have a header level and item level. Two tables are maintained, and in another project we maintain directly and single mapping table. So how we are going to maintain this one? So, for example, how we are going to maintain the table, we write the first one is hard code the plant code. That is not at all recommended because if you do the hard code of plant code, after one month or two months, the business is requesting that one. We want the same validation for another plant also. Then again, you have to raise a CR or a service request or change request and ask ABAP. ABAP has to add another plant into the program, then do the testing, then all those stuff you have to do it. But if you maintain a CCID, how are the CCID will be maintained? Program. Okay. Whatever the program related to ME21 or something, the program will be given. And you will maintain the key one. We give a plant code or WRKS field, okay? So maybe you can have one more field called uh, use validation, validation of PAR during saving the purchase order, okay? Validation of PAR during saving the purchase order. So we may have that value like parameter value or uh, parameter value. Okay. So here the company, the plant, you can give like a 1001 or else you can give the GK P1. So the plant is given like this. So now the logic will be written. How do you will write? If this is the program for this validation, so far if the plant is matching, Okay, maybe we can give like this. Okay, plant, plant value. For this program and the validation requirement, if the plant is available in this table, for that plant only, this enhancement has to work. So he will make in that way. So because of that, what happens? Tomorrow, you want to, maybe they will have one more also. Key one and... Okay, sequence. So maybe sequence one, today one is maintained. Okay, see one is maintained. Tomorrow, if you have another plant, you are going to add it in the same program. Maybe let's take it the program name also. Okay, I was mentioning about that E and E table right earlier. So plant, and purchasing organization, both are key fields. So you can maintain both only purchasing organization level or only plant level. So uh, only purchasing organization level or else plant plus purchasing organization level. So let me maintain this TSTC. Transaction code is ME22N. The program may be this one. You're maintaining the at this program level. Okay. So how you are going to maintain multiple values in the same table? Another one, same thing. Requirement is also same. Plant code, sequence two, and plant is GK, P2. You just need to maintain. And uh, this table maintenance can be uh, directly maintained in the respective, what you call uh, production system or anything, client specific you can maintain, or else you can manage with a transport request. So that is based on your design, you can, process. So at high level, what I'm going to tell you here. So because of this one, I think we need to make something like this. 
so that we will get go to home and uh, maintain wrap text mm. okay so this is the first entry and second entry and tomorrow you got another requirement for another plant you can just go there and uh, maintain okay new plant one zero zero so because of this one you don't have to go to ABAP again and you don't have to uh, even raise a transport request if you're maintaining at the client specific this is for the solution for option two so hard code i always recommend to avoid if it is um, any logic or you are fetching for a specific plant or else you, are, you want to have a, a specific validation for a specific plant code or company code. So you have to the program and the use or key one is a plant, maybe any other field you wanted to validate. So maybe if you want to have an info record field or anything validation. So we can keep it like the table is always prepared with yeah, like this. Uh, key two. E2 and uh, E3. Okay. So if you are using multiple keys for any other purpose, we need to tell the ABAP that uh, key two, I'm storing some uh, field value or key three, I'm storing some other value like that. We use it to mention. Okay. So this is the way uh, how you are going to avoid the uh, hard code and uh, the CCID table or mapping table or constant table. If you are listening these words at any way, please, uh, this is the uses okay i hope you will get a required uh, idea so if you are listening this word in anywhere you can uh, okay this is for the the purpose of uh, ccid or constant table or mapping table to avoid the hard code not only avoiding hard code avoiding hard code and saving a lot of time for the future requirements without ABAP, you are going to manage by just maintaining in a table okay so even the few numbers also can be generated and CCID number also will be used. Okay, in few projects I have saw that one, uh, they have a number, they keep it like this, CCID number. Okay, So you can give that number for each uh, requirement, you can give a number like one, it can be one, so for all one, another requirement, it will be two, three, four, like that they can continue. Okay, So RL, they will start with uh, 1000, 1000 and the next one 1001 1002 1003 so in that table the ccid is a key field so the same number will not be repeated again okay someone wants to use again system will not allow so that you can strongly you can put it or else you can go with the key field as a program also you can do it so based on the how the design you can make it you can take it in numbering or without number you just believe the program and the second one use okay use our key fields Okay, so based on the key fields, because same ME22N, here you are validating the info record and another place you might be validating the uh, contract. You might be validating some other field. So like that, you can manage it. This is about the CCID table or constant table or mapping table. If you are listening in your any of the projects, this is the way how you need to handle. I hope uh, in this video, you learned about a certain new element to avoid uh, hard coding. Yeah, this kind of uh, videos I will definitely plan. If you have any kind of requirements or ideas, please put it in the comment. So definitely I will go through and uh, try to make a video. Keep supporting me and keep sharing our videos. Good luck. Thank you.